Are you a hat person? I love wearing hats, but not all women feel comfortable in them. So I want to talk to you about four different myths that you may be telling yourself about why you don't wear hats and how you can feel comfortable wearing them. I've got some examples of my own and I'd love to share with you and I hope that you enjoy the conversation. My name is Margaret Manning. I'm with 60 and Me, and I want to welcome you here today. Thank you so much for taking the time to join us. Now, our show today is brought to you by See Me Beauty. See Me Beauty products are for women who really want healthy and hydrated skin. They don't believe any of these myths about getting rid of the wrinkles or erasing the fine lines, just having lovely, healthy, beautiful skin. They've got some products that have got wonderful natural ingredients, and I invite you to check out their website at seemebeauty.com. So let's talk about hats. This is one of the things that I, I just love talking about because I'm a hat person. I enjoy them and they're perfect uh, in lots of situations for covering up your, your skin when it's sunny and hot outside or for just giving you that little bit of style, a little extra pizzazz when you've got an outfit on that you love. Also, if you've got a bad hair day, they're great for covering it up and wonderful on holidays as well. I always take my hats with me when I travel. I just find they add a little bit of, for me, confidence and, you you know, just sort of, uh, oh, I don't know, just a sense that I'm expressing who I am. My hats are an extension of myself. But do you wear hats or maybe you have reasons that you prefer not to? Now, one reason that a lot of people say is I don't look good in hats. Well, this is kind of this is a funny thing because I think if you've never worn hats, you don't see yourself in them. And there's actually something called the mere exposure effect which is where you actually, if you don't have never seen yourself look, wearing something or you know looking in a certain way, you can't get used to it. It just doesn't feel comfortable. And so it's just one of those things that I think you have to kind of, okay, I'm gonna try it, dip my toe in the water. And one thing that I recommend for you to consider is a beret. Now I love berets, I have maybe 10 of them, all different colors under the sun, and I just wear them all the time. And if you've watched any of my other videos, I've got lots of them on YouTube, you'll see that I often do wear my beret when I'm out and about. So just an example, this is one of my beautiful purple uh, berets, I love the color. But what I did is I just put a little, um, a little pin on it. So I just put one of these little brooch pins and that's my, my purple beret. I love it, it really is nice. And people often compliment me on this because I've taken the time to put something unusual. And you can put a ribbon or some kind of you know beautiful badge, but a little brooch is pretty. So that's my purple one. And then, keeping with my theme of sparkle this year, <laughs> I've got a black one that I made myself. It was a black beret, and then I put little sequins on it. And this one was great in the winter months and it's just really pretty. It's just got little sparkles all around and yeah, just adds a little bit of pizzazz to it. I love it. But there's lots of beautiful berets online. I've got a link in the article below to one at ASOS. It's a red beret and it's gorgeous, but um, you've got lots of options. Just check out the link if you want to take a look at what's available out there in the world. So a second thing, oh, by the way, if you do have, um, a challenge with, you know, not being used to yourself wearing a hat, just take a picture of yourself with the hat on, with, a, with any hat, beret or whatever, and then keep looking at it now and again for a couple of weeks, and you will find that you get used to it. And then when you put a real one on and go out, it'll, be, it'll seem a lot more relaxed. That's a little tip. So if it's too hot to wear a hat, <laughs> well, that's, it's true. And then there are many months of the year when it's sunny and bright and you don't want to wear something on your head. But actually, there's lots of different, um, I mean, it's a spectrum of beautiful hats that are available. And there's some that are lovely and um, kind of all year round hats. You can even get berets that are in a kind of thin wool material that are great. They just, if you, if you have, like me, I have kind of hair that doesn't stay in place all the time. <laughs> so it's nice to just pop a hat on, even in the summer months. You can also wear a headband. Those are lovely too. But something on your head just, um, I don't know, just adds a little extra. Um, there's some beautiful hats. Um, I think it's at um, Anthropology. There's a lot of beautiful ones. There's a link in the article for this particular um, style. But this is my own version of a raffia hat. And I wear this in the summer pretty much nonstop. Um, it's got a lovely, I'll put it on. Oh, it's got a little thing for tying the, um, you know, you can make it smaller, which is a cool feature. So there you go. There's my bow in the side <laughs> and my raffia hat. I really love these types of hats. They're super lightweight. They protect you from the sun, but they also just give your face a nice shape, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Maybe, you, you know, you've got your own reasons, but try these out. Try this one, uh, this raffia style. This might work for you. And actually, I'm pointing at this little thing. A lot of hats have that I've got that little feature 
where you can actually pull it tighter so it fits your head perfectly. So another thing you can people always say is it makes a mess of my hair. Yes. <laughs> a little bit but this is the look now for, for our, our, our fashion and beauty in general just not looking so you know put a old totally put together but a bit of a you know your hair a little bit shaggy a little bit rough and fun carefree it kind of gives the message that you really are yourself it doesn't matter if it's a little bit you know uh, ruffled by a hat and you can also, of course, um, you know, put a scarf on underneath the, or have a scarf ready to pop over your hair if it gets too, you know, out of control for you. But it's a really nice way to, you know, sort of have a, have a scarf as a, as a backdrop and then have your hat for the protection and just keeping everything together. So that's another reason that people say they don't want to wear a hat and it's going to mess up your hair. But I don't know, I wouldn't worry too much about it anymore. I think we should be able to feel comfortable in whatever we're wearing, including our hats. <laughs> Absolutely. So another thing people say is, oh, well, my head is too big or it's too, it's too small. And, um, you know, it's actually, that's a big challenge because um, if you are petite, then you, you know, then you really are having, you know, to get a hat that's a little bit smaller. One thing to consider is a cap. You know, a lot of, uh, a lot of people wear caps, uh, baseball caps, or those kind of small hats that are, um, you know, uh, not too not, not too obtrusive for a small head and also you can check the kids sections because children's uh, sections in the stores have some really really good um, options and uh, men's stock if your head is, head is a little large go check out the men's section they really are a great place for looking for hats as well but whatever you choose you know hats are I think a fashion statement that are just beautifully easy to um, to purchase and apply and you don't have to make a big deal out of it Another thing that you might want to do is to uh, get a, um, a like a ribbon or a thin scarf and just replace the one that's on the hat. This one had a beautiful black bow, which is gorgeous, but you can actually put a beautiful paisley color or print rainbow color, whatever you like to sort of add a little bit extra color and texture to, to, the, to the hat. But um, I, I hope these have given you some ideas and made you feel not quite so nervous about, you know, trying a hat on and, and wearing it, just having a go. You know, the hats, like all clothes that we wear, reflect our personality, right? They just tell the people who you are. I know that when I wear my beret, I don't know whether this is just me imagining it, but I always get more smiles. I think there's something about a hat wearing person that people just think, oh, there's someone that kind of is not, you know, afraid to make that, that final statement when they've got their outfit on, their coat, whatever, just to pop a hat on. That's an interesting person. And I think that, um, you know, people sometimes are just attracted to hat wearers. And also another thing to, to advise just in general is start with something neutral, like one of these beautiful raffia hats from Anthropology or somewhere like that. You can actually start with these and just be a little bit subdued. Maybe minimize your jewelry, not, not wear something that's super, super con chunky and conflicting, just something nice and neutral that goes along with the hat. I mean, most of the straw summer hats are, are kind of this um, well, straw colored. They're, they're like a beige color. So they're a little bit neutral to start with. So you don't have to um, you know, feel like you're being garish with a red or a purple or some other color hat. But having said that, there are some amazing colors out there in the hat world uh, of these types of, of straw hats. I've got a purple one. that I, It's like a, a lilac color. It's got a big purple bow and it's really, really beautiful. And I have a red one too. Yeah, you can get all kinds of amazing colors. And that's another thing that wearing a hat kind of can make you feel comfortable if it's a color that you love. I have another hat that's got a, um, a, a coral color band and it's just a, a straw hat like this, but it's actually got a, a coral peachy color, which again is, I'm always wearing peach and, and turquoise colors. So they go together, this, this kind of color. So um, I guess the thing is there's variations of hats for every style, every person, every lifestyle. Check them out and, see, and let me know what you, what you think. Do you have a favorite place for buying hats? Leave your comments in the section below. If you have found the perfect hat, leave it in the comment section so we can all share from your research and your discovery. And, you know, I guess the question is kind of what hat myths have interfered with you wearing a hat? Is it that your head's too big or too small or that your hair's going to get messed up or that you, you know, they're too hot or, or they just don't suit you? Which, is, which has been the one that you, you feel has prevented you from enjoying the beautiful world of magical hats.
<laughs> I'm doing a downsizing process at the moment. It's like a lifestyle, but I decided to cut back on my hats. I think I had about 20 hats when I started. I'm down to maybe 12. <laughs> it's about the best as I, I can get. I love my hats. I really do. And maybe you do too. So t share your hat stories. Tell us where you buy them and maybe what's been holding you back. So have a great day, everybody. Go out and put a hat on and go enjoy the world wherever you are. And we'll talk again very, very soon. I put my hat on to say goodbye. Bye, everybody. See you later.